Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Lenovo Yoga. Let's take a look at the model here. If you take a look at the back here, it says 72012IKB. That is the model of this laptop. And here I'll be doing a complete teardown. You get to see on how to replace the battery, changing out the M.2 SSD drive, maybe upgrading your RAM, things like that, maybe replacing the CPU fan as well. All right, I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's remove the screw here. I will list the replacement items on the description below. So please click on the description to see where you can get the battery, maybe RAM, M.2 drive, I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay. All right, the next step is to get a metal prying tool to go in between this cover here. And just to remove the entire back cover. To disconnect the battery, you can just simply slide the connector to the right. So slide it or pull it to the right and that would disconnect the battery. Using a Phillips screwdriver here. There are five screws in total holding down the battery and to find the replacement battery let's look for the model here the model would be l17l3p61 that is the model of this battery replacement and again if you feel like the clicker is not clickable or maybe you feel like there's a lump on the back of your laptop they're more likely because of the battery when the battery is overcharged or if you always plug into the charger, you leave the charger plug into the laptop all the time, then more likely that the battery is overcharged and swollen. The next step is to remove the M.2 SSD drive, which is right here. Slide it to the on the right side at about 45 degree angle that is the M.2 drive now if you are interested to recover the data you want to get one of these which is the M.2 USB adapter slide it in put a screw here and you can plug it into any computer and this would act like a USB thumb drive here you should be able to recover all your data This is the uh, CPU, sorry, this is the CMOS battery. To reset the BIOS, you can simply by pulling off or disconnect the uh, CMOS battery. Here is your Wi-Fi card, and I see the black one is for the Wi-Fi antenna that goes to the screen. To remove, you can just simply lift up two of the cable, remove the screws and slide it away from your body to remove the Wi-Fi card. It looks like there is no um, RAM upgrade in this computer. I apologize for um, my introductory at the beginning that telling you you could upgrade your RAM but it doesn't seem like this motherboard has the uh, capacity for RAM upgrade so I apologize on the beginning. Let's remove the motherboard and also the CPU fan. Slide the connector to the right. That's how you disconnect the CPU fan. Three screws holding down the CPU fan. Let's remove that. The 
let's connect this cable here that is for the uh, charging port and the three screws holding down for the LCD screen the hinge Open up the clipper and slide that flex cable to the right. This is for the speaker. Slide the connector to the right. This is for the keyboard. Open up the little clicker here. Slide the entire keyboard flex cable down. That's for the trackpad. That's probably for the touch ID. This is for the LCD screen. Alright, so the entire screen will just come right off. And if you're planning to replace the screen, um, I recommend you to replace the full assembly because uh, this is a touch screen. And the digitizer or the sensor on a touch, if you replace with the third party, you may run into a problem. There may be a ghost touch on it. Uh, so my recommendation, even if you can't buy, buy a used one, uh, it's fine to just replace the full assembly with the hinge. All right, here comes the uh, the bottom part of the laptop, where the keyboard trackpad is one piece together. So you can't replace the keyboard or the key itself. You would have to replace the full assembly. Let's remove the motherboard, and that should be it. So there's a screw right here that has the Lenovo warranty void seal on it so you need to remove that And here comes the entire motherboard and again I apologize for earlier that the RAM is embedded to the motherboard there's no replacement or upgrade for the RAM unfortunately that's if you have a bad RAM you would have to replace the entire motherboard and this is the keyboard full assembly so if you need to replace the uh, keyboard here you would have to replace the whole whole full assembly so what I'll do is I'll link, I'll try my best to link everything down in the description below. Please go ahead and check it out. Um, the battery where you can get the battery from. If you want to buy the uh, M.2 SSD drive or the USB adapter, if you want need to recover the data. That is your Wi-Fi card, CPU fan. The LCD screen I guess that's pretty much it and the heat sink um, if you want to remove the heat sink they're just four screws holding holding it down let me go ahead and remove that and show it to you guys okay this is the uh, motherboard and the heat sink is here And the thermal paste, if it's all dried up, 
I recommend to just wipe it off using the alcohol wipes. It's just a lot easier to use an alcohol wipes to wipe the uh, thermal pad. Once you wipe it, you can reapply uh, thermal pad onto the CPU. And again, the RAM is actually uh, soldered onto the motherboard. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. If you do find the video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And for those of you who would like to support my channel and support the video and the things that I do, please click on YouTube Super Thanks. Uh, you can share your uh, gratitude over to YouTube Super Thanks. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you. Until next time. Bye now.